In this video, we're gonna talk about 343's future plans for live service, what they're working on, and we're gonna leverage some interesting information to actually dig into what is Halo Infinite's live service going to look like. But the Game Leap website is the best place to quickly climb to Onyx with in-depth pro breakdowns where we analyze exactly what they do right and wrong, and we show you what you could do in your games to replicate the successes while staying away from the failures, quickly climbing to Onyx and beyond. Do yourself a favor and go check it out right now down below. Now, Halo Infinite's live service has been practically non-existent. If we look at this handy calendar visual that was posted on Reddit, we actually can see what has happened over the past four months since release. You see, in November, the game got released. The start of December, Big Team Battle broke, and then the January fix was the first Big Team Battle fix that didn't work. And then in February, we finally got the second Big Team Battle fix. The ranked reset happened and the mid-season update. Um, yeah, there's been very little added to the game since launch. Now, while that is definitely a little disappointing, we do know that 343 is trying to set everything in order. They're not going to push out expectations until, you know, they have the gears turning, they have the plans laid out. And something that's very interesting that was actually found was a hiring post for 343 about something that directly relates to some of that live service that we really are craving. And the first thing that's really interesting is the writing director. And the writing director is going to actually create highly innovative and engaging serial narrative content for Halo Infinite's free to play to quote the responsibilities of the job listing. Basically, this person is in charge of creating story mission storylines in Halo Infinite's game. And based on reading this, reading everything that they are responsible for, I really think of something like Halo Firefight or even a mode where you are going to be put on the story or mini story missions that you could potentially play with friends or, you know, go and play them maybe once a month every time there is a big, you know, skin set or a big event to couple with whatever that theme is, they would release some sort of small story based level or mission that you could play, grind, get points for, and it has like some story elements, it has a narrative, like imagine being able to play a tiny mission in the Halo universe from the perspective of a number of different characters. I mean, you could have it from any of the Spartans in the universe, you could have it from an ODST, you could do so much with this concept, and it would be really insane to keep people intrigued in this way, not just the competitive player, but I think every type of Halo fan is interested in something like this, and while they are just, you know, reaching out and hiring this person, they hired this person not that long ago, most likely, it's something that they're working on, and it looks like they are trying to set a lot of the groundwork for things that are going to pay off further down the line. A little bit disheartening that that's the case, but it's just the reality of the situation. At least there's some things to look forward to. Now, the next thing that you can actually look at is the monetization designer. They also posted a job for the monetization designer, and they wanted someone who has experience in developing in-game economy systems or working on economy systems or at least one live service game. So basically, they are trying to find someone that really understands how to develop a, an economy system that people like, how to develop a, an economy system that people are going to agree with. And yeah, I know, they probably should have had like a five of these type of people on staff already. But more than likely, they are just trying to improve. They're trying to meet demands. And I'm not trying to make this entire video to just be negative on 343. Because we know they're trying. We know they are backed by Microsoft. We know that they have the budget, right? So at the end of the day, it's a matter of time until these things get in place. And I would be way more excited about a live service if, you know, every single freaking time, we didn't only get just cool skins. We got a battle pass, we got cheaper skins, cheaper options, we got a free to play freaking narration story campaign that if you complete it, you get some free cosmetics, you get something, and it's something to look forward to, play and grind the game. I mean, you combine something like that, which could be amazing, with something like Forge, and all of a sudden, the game is looking like 10 times better. Now that being said, until 343 gives us a real timeline or reveals any of this information, we have no idea when any of this stuff is going to come out, and that's the disappointing aspect of this. But, you know, I think that the only thing we could do at this point is to hold out hope that 343 releases those things soon. 
But if you want to make sure to not miss out on any of the big updates and changes, make sure you smash that like, subscribe. And the Game Leap website is always the place if you want to grind to Onyx and just dominate the opposition. Do yourself a favor and go check it out right now down below.